Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today I'm going to be doing a firewood delivery. It's just a cord, so this is our smaller trailer and a good thing because where we are going today is kind of tricky to get into. Last time my grandfather went with me because it's more challenging. He goes with me on some of the more challenging deliveries just so I don't get in a situation that ends up being uh, worse than it had to be because you can get into some pretty pretty tough situations and you don't want to, to damage the vehicle or uh, get into a position that you can't get out of. It's already hitched up, but I'm going to double check everything and make sure that everything is good before we take off here. Yeah, and it looks good. The only thing is that I usually hook this in here. This is just something that the boss likes. And I did get comments saying, why don't you lock that? It will vibrate out. Uh, I assure you that it will not. Uh, I've been driving trailers for a really long time and watching other people drive trailers and that has never ever happened. Plus that means that you have to have that key to get out, which means that the truck has to be off because our key is on the truck key ring. So that won't work for us and we've never had trouble with it. So we're, go we're all good to go. Tires look good. Just make sure that no piece is gonna fall out up here first. And we look good. Don't want a piece of wood flying out. Look at this piece. Isn't that crazy? It's really, really dark. Looks blue almost, like navy blue. All right, I think we're ready to hit the road. All right, we are almost here. It's a really pretty drive out here. I have to cross railroad tracks. It's a really tight road here. Have to get over if cars come because two of us cannot fit, especially with this trailer. Now this is not the wide trailer, so it's a uh, little bit wider than the truck itself. The, the medium-sized trailer is definitely wider. Cause life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Hi, look at that view. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go this way. All right, so how this works is I can pull in straight, but there's this kind of this gate and uh, a bank on one side and the way that the bank, uh, not the bank, but the gate is angled, it's angled almost towards the bank. So you can't necessarily just drive in it straight. Uh, so it's a little tricky, even though I'm driving in straight, I don't have to back through it, thank goodness. Uh, it does take some adjusting and you hardly fit, like it's barely. So I'm glad I have Jade with me so she can be watching also because it's not bad to have uh, two eyes looking, well, four eyes, oh my gosh, Jade. An extra two eyes looking at the situation. All right, so we are here and we, I'm just gonna try to get set up the best I can for getting in here. I have to kind of position myself to make it through here. Um, I'm just gonna take it nice and slow because it is not easy. I had to tuck in my mirror so it got challenging because I couldn't see then out of my one side and we barely fit, but we did it. And on the first try, too, I didn't have to back up or anything. All right, so we made it out, and I'm just going to get turned around here. This is kind of the easy part, although none of it's really that easy, but still.
So that was definitely kind of nerve wracking. You saw the situation there. I don't know how well the camera picked it up or not, but definitely the more I do it, the easier it gets. And that was the second time I was there, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And it was definitely easier than it was last time. Uh, but it is tight and that, that's one of the harder ones. Well, actually not really. There's a lot of levels of difficulty when it comes to getting up driveways and stuff but that, that's definitely a tight squeeze there. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I'm glad that you came along for this little trip here and I'll see you next time.